name's Andrew Clark. I'm an associate professor of electrical and systems engineering, and I'm also the director of PhD recruitment and admissions for the department. So our ESC department is unique in a lot of different ways. Um, the first is that we have one of the only electrical and systems engineering departments in the country, um, which gives us the sort of unique uh, system science perspective on a lot of pressing engineering challenges that you'll get to hear more about. Another point that I would emphasize is the collegiality of the department and the campus as a whole. So among the engineering departments that I've been involved with, uh, this one is great because in addition to your own advisor, there's a lot of collaboration with other faculty within the department and opportunities you really won't find anywhere else to work with people in physics, in other engineers, uh, areas of engineering, in uh, the medical school, and uh, companies uh, around the area. One of the major things that brought me to uh, ESC and to WashU was my PI, Dr. Lan Yang. She had come to my undergraduate university and given a lecture, and just hearing not only about the amazing research she was doing, but also learning a lot about her research style um, was really inspiring to me, and it's what made me sort of seek out uh, uh, applying for a PhD here at WashU and, and ESC specifically. Majoring in mathematics in my undergraduate university really gave me good mathematical rigor, but not so much engineering rigor, which I didn't really understand until I came to WashU. My first and second year were a little difficult here because even just the language barrier, the jargon from math versus engineering was difficult to combine. Um, so that was surprising when I got here, but not necessarily in a bad way. It just opened my eyes to what I still had to learn. I think WashU is a great platform uh, and you can, you can utilize this open environment. You can explore your passion uh, by starting collaborations or joining other courses from different departments and trying to find your passions and work on it. My advice for new PhD students would be to keep in mind uh, persistence. Even if things go wrong, like you can keep pushing forward and um, that Things going wrong is just sort of a part of doing science and learning how to do research um, and that it doesn't mean that you're not smart or a bad researcher, it's just how things go and, uh, and if you just persist then it will, it'll get better. So WashU is very generous to its graduate students. I find that the stipend is um, very livable, especially because St. Louis is a good Midwest city that's very affordable. One major benefit of St. Louis uh, that comes along with a city of this size is the great diversity that we find here in the city. Not only within our city, but here in ESC specifically. We have a very diverse uh, range of professors and students coming from all different backgrounds, uh, both academically and culturally. And I think merging all those things together uh, just gives us a, a larger wealth of knowledge to pull from.